Hey, I'm Natasha Antonioni with Austin Life, where we cover real estate, design, and things to do around town. Today, we're talking about all these big tech companies moving here, and why are they moving here? And what does it mean for you if you're considering a move to Austin? If you've been with me before, you know that I have a passion for this town. I've only been here for a whopping six years, but it's taken my heart, and I'll tell you why. I came here from Los Angeles and New York City before that, so if you know anything about those cities, there's a lot of hustle and bustle. There's a lot of movement towards, like, let me get ahead. I have to say in this town, I was blown away by no one ever asking me what I did for a living. Wow, really? They wanna get to know you as a person. It's a heartfelt place. And honestly, I think that that culture is so deeply embedded in this town that even with all of the new people coming in, I really don't see that changing. And I don't think that the leaders of this town see that changing or are gonna allow it to change, which is why they created a social contract. Who has a social contract? And what is a social contract? At the December 10th Austin City Council meeting, the Austin City Council issued a groundbreaking directive to the city manager. Write a social contract for Austin. The city has tasked city manager Spencer Cronk to work with the city's joint inclusion committee to write the document, which is to be presented to the council by June 1st, 2021. What the point was, was that the contract should reflect values shared by the people of Austin. Those values are outlined as be respectful, listen to understand, act with good intentions, support ideas with evidence and experience, disagree without being disagreeable, critique the idea, not the person, invite wonder. Ah, I love that one. So if you know me and you've been here before, I'm all about my hashtag live your dream already. And I really feel that in this town, it's a place where there's an opportunity to do that. Who doesn't want to raise their family with those core values? Let's dive into it. The new Apple campus is going to be located in the north and northwest part of Austin. So we've just narrowed it down to some of the closest neighborhoods, including Shoal Creek, Allendale, and Northwest Hills. Shoal Creek has lots of new condo builds and a few new homes on the market. The current highlight on the market, because there's not a whole lot over there, is a dream home of its time designed by the renowned architect Michael Graves for Life Magazine and recently was featured in Architectural Digest, listed at 1.3 million. And if you were here with us last week, we did a video on a property tour in The Grove, which is a live work community that is kind of like a Playa Vista, if you know Los Angeles, it's got so many things. So make sure to check out that video. Right close by, we have Allendale, which is a traditional family-friendly neighborhood featuring quiet streets lined with mature trees and updated homes from the mid 20th century. An on the rise community in today's market, getting you a home that likely needs updates when under a million. Although tip over that and you can find a beauty of a home like this one at 5503 New Haven Court. Next, we're at Crestview, which is a neighborhood in North Central Austin. The Crestview neighborhood was built by developer A.B. Beto on the site of an old dairy farm in the 1950s and early 60s. Lots of smaller lots with bungalows being transitioned into renovations or new builds like the 1902 Justin Lane property shown here. It's a great area to get in under the 700,000s. Northwest Hills totally different vibe over here with breathtaking panorama views and easy access to Mopac and 360, two of the city's main thoroughfares. Northwest Hills has long winding streets and frequent wildlife sightings. Families and commuter students recharge in peaceful environments. Access to the area's surprisingly rugged green spaces. Mostly sprawling single family homes, but also clusters of multi unit properties. You'll fall in love with watching the sunsets at Mount Bonnell. So, moving right along to Google at 500 West 2nd Street. Google knows what's up. Can we talk about being where it's at? 
right next to Bolden Creek, Zilker, and Clarksville, some of the most desirable neighborhoods in downtown Austin. Make sure to take a deep dive with me on my Bolden Creek neighborhood. So Bolden Creek is a diverse, laid-back neighborhood in touch with the Keep It Weird Austin vibe. Quirky shops mixed with trendy cafes and old-school Mexican joints. Homes landing in the 1.5 and upwards of 3 million range for modern farmhouses, three stories with mini pools and elevators like the 805 West Annie home I recently sold. If you know Austin, you know Zilker Park is our central park where dogs run off-leash fit 20-somethings, throw frisbees, or simply kick back and catch some sun or a picnic. Zilker is a lively area with lots of dining and entertainment options. Restaurants range from chef-driven hotspots to laid-back local fixtures to food trailers. Lots of condos in Zilker's from the 400s to four and a half million dollars. You'll also find some freestanding homes on smaller lots with multiple stories, like this one at 1714 Nash Avenue. Moving right along to Clarksville. Established by freed slaves in the 1870s, Clarksville is a small historic district west of downtown. The low-key, pedestrian-friendly neighborhood is known for its modest bungalows and long-standing cafes and shops. A vibrant graffiti park, the Hope Outdoor Gallery occupies a rambling hillside. Clarksville is bordered by a trendy commercial strip on Lamar Boulevard as well as Treaty Oak, a state landmark. Clarksville is considered highly desirable with its charming converted bungalows, renovations, and new builds, but you're gonna pay for the charm and location. From $500,000 condos boasting 1,300 square feet, like this one at 1506 West 13th Street, to this one-third of an acre property listed at 2.65 million, So moving right along to Tesla and Samsung in Southeast Austin. As of January 26, Samsung's potential expansion comes as Tesla continues construction of its auto manufacturing plant near Southeast Austin, and Apple works on its second office campus in Northwest Austin. Last year, Site Selection Magazine ranked Austin as the country's sixth best metro area for corporate relocation and expansion. With Tesla and Samsung swinging into the Southeast Austin that already started its real estate transition, we'll be seeing these neighborhoods hit fast forward on their growth and price points as well. So listen, I lived in Los Angeles and I watched Venice happen. Abbott Kinney was a scary place when I moved there. And by the time I left per square foot, it was more expensive than Beverly Hills. So my prediction is that is what's happening in East Austin right now. So let's talk about Mueller. Green, beautiful Mueller with lots of rolling kind of soft hills and water and ponds. A great place for outdoor activities and playtime with the kiddos. This whole community used to be the old Mueller Airport. It's a modern planned community that's home to many young families and college kids alike. The eco-conscious mixed-use development includes single-family homes, apartment complexes, the Dells Children Community Hospital, as well as retailers and restaurants, plus offices and film studios. There's ample green space, including a 30-acre lake park with jogging trails and open-air amphitheater. Lots of condos with a few freestanding homes, like this neat 4513 Page Street for 918,000, and 2,300 square feet. Southeast Austin, mostly industrial because of the airport proximity, the new airport that is, you can find swaths of land for sale and likely future development as well as homes under the 500K mark that may or may not need a facelift. East Austin, known as the East Side, is going through a pretty major transition that brings me back to the Abbott Kinney in Venice, Los Angeles, 20-something years ago. Not long ago, it may have been considered unsavory. It's quickly becoming the spot for artists, quirky mom and pops, and hip cafes. Follow the artists, and it's not long until the money starts rolling in. 600K may get you a 1,300 square foot home, or you can find a couple of beauties like the Navasoto houses I recently toured. So we've really done a deep dive on these particular companies and the surrounding areas around them. However, if you don't need to go into an office, you get to be free, and there is a lot of space here. 
We've done property tours on Spicewood, Dripping Springs, My Neighborhood, Cuernavaca, and a bunch more. And we have more coming because Austin is a growing place and we have all this amazing land around us. So I wanna take you guys to see what else is beyond the city walls of Austin. So if you're thinking about moving here, what's bringing you here? Why are you moving to Austin? Leave a comment below. Stick around because we have lots of new tours coming soon to you. We'll see you soon. Bye.